everyone. Normally I do a lot of my tutorials in Inkscape. We will end in an Inkscape, but we will be going someplace where you can actually make a logo for free. Uh, that's assuming you just use their free account. And that place is Canva, canva.com. So Google that, Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com on Google, and you'll find it or whatever search engine you use. If you, then you, you'll have to actually log in, you'll have to, or sign in, get a, a log user name and password, and then once you get into this, get this far, then you'll be wanting to find, scroll down, and look for the logo. It's gonna be in marketing materials. Click on that. Now, one of the reasons I'm leading people here is because not only it's free, but they have a lot of logos that are already created. Now, that doesn't mean you have to use one of the already logo, uh, already pre-done logos, but they are helpful in giving you ideas, and they have a lot of them. Some are free and some are not. If you don't have all the free ones come up to the top, Go up here and then click on free only. It's going to give you this ad. You just, uh, there will be a place to click out of that ad. Well, I should show you. I was wondering why that wasn't coming up. So there's a, let me move down my browser. So you just click out of that ad. And then we go looking for. A logo you can look as far as you want just pick out something that will work for you and as you notice, just notice that a lot of these are really simple and that's what's good about a good logo is to get one or create one that's very simple and this is kind of involved these small lines right there you want a logo that will look good when it's real small and also when it's very large just think of some of the popular logos, like the one that most people talk about is the Nike Swish. Pepsi has a very simple logo. Let's go for this one right here. And when you get this far, you can click on the various components of the logo and change them. You can change the text, increase the font size, and change the color. You make it, let's see if I can make the middle part italic. Yeah. And you can add elements. Go down here. So it has enough capability to allow you to create your own. Okay, so that's enough of that. Let's go to download. Download. You might want to download it in both a PDF. So I'll download a PDF. And of course my PDF pops up. I'll close that for now. You notice this? Uh, let's see. Let's open it. So sometimes the PDF doesn't doesn't always come out correctly. Close the current timer. That was from a previous test. When that happens, that's because I made the word a little expanded. I mean, it needed to be a little opened up here. Okay, let's try it again. And download. Hmm. I will try it one more time. I will get rid of 
that as being italic. Then I will download. It doesn't work this time. I might start my tutorial over. Let's also download a PNG. Okay, now that you have those downloaded, go back to Inkscape. And then go find your files. And once you import both of those in there, or drag them in. I have found my files. I'm going to drag in my PNG. Just say OK. Make sure those are the same. Embed. Because that's my PNG. And I'm going to buy, I'm going to import my PDF. Go ahead and click OK. OK, so we have our PNG. Stay away from there. And our PDF. One thing you'll notice is that the text font changed because apparently we I don't have the same font. So that's can be a problem, especially if you like the font over here in this PNG. But really the biggest benefit I think from Canva is that you have these pre made logos and it offers you a lot of ideas and you can expand upon those ideas or add to them take away whatever so i might you know one of the benefits of the pdf is that you can go up here and ungroup it and it'll separate the components see that so i might want to get rid of my background You'll have to keep on deleting until you get rid of, just to make sure it's everything's taken out. And put that in. Okay, so my background is removed. Then you want to zoom in. Take a look at your graphics. Make sure it looks like it should. You see the difference? No, I don't see the difference. So that came out pretty well. If you zoom in this one, See how fuzzy it gets? That's the pixelation, the pixels that you're seeing. Or as you go over here, this is crisp. You, I can scroll, zoom in as far as I want to. You still have a crisp line. So the benefit, and so what I'm saying is that when I imported the PDF, I got a vector image. Of course, we had to ungroup it and break it apart. Or no, no, you don't. You don't have to break it apart. If you want to alter the text, you will have to break it apart. So let's do that. Break it apart. Maybe ungroup first. Okay, now break it apart. Huh. Maybe it's already breaking apart, broken apart. But you can actually change these letters. There's a new word. Of course, you might want to just totally delete this and then put something else. You know, change, find your font, put some something else under there. But if you'll notice, the graphic is is very crisp on this side and it's fuzzy on that side. You want to have a logo that's simple. It's in vector format because vector format allows you to reduce the size and still retain its crispness, crispness, and also in be able to enlarge it. So those are, that's a, vec, having your logo in vector format offers you a lot of benefits that you might not even see, you know, currently when you're using your logo. A lot of people might use it for their website or whatever, but when you're using it for your website, then a simple image or a raster image like this PNG will be okay. But when you start using your logo offline, like um, for printing it on paper, or printing it in a large format on paper, then you're going to run into problems without having a, a vector logo, a vectorized logo. Okay, well.
I hope that helped you out. Uh, use Canva. I and mean, there's actually another one I'll probably do a video on, but another logo site that I have used previously. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I do hope that you got something out of it. And before you go, take a look at maybe some of my other videos that might be somewhere in this area. <laughs> and subscribe if you're interested in learning more. God bless. Bye-bye.